Hi friends, welcome to GradeUp. My name is Amalesham Devasane. In this video, I will be sharing the details uh, for how to prepare a gate exam. Before knowing how to prepare for gate exam, let me discuss you why do you prepare for gate exam. In general, uh, after BE, BTEC or you know MCA, you might be interested to uh, study higher education. So, it is a one uh, very important exam which will give you a very good path for higher education like in IITs, NITs and other triple ITs where you can get the admission easily with GATE score. So, here you can join for MTech, MS and PhD programs. Also, some of the IITs they provide dual degree programs. This is the one advantage of why do you write the GATE exam. Then second one, you can apply for a PSU jobs, a more than 40 PSU jobs are uh, giving the notification every year. So, this is one of the good opportunity um, to get the job. Second one, the third uh, more important is um, when you prepare for gate exam is not only uh, to write the gate exam, but you can also write uh, the very, very important exams like you know, uh, ISRO, BARC, these are the research companies, organizations, they provide uh, a scientist jobs and um, some of the concepts uh, which you prepare for the gate also helps you to prepare for engineering services examination. And now uh, every year other than PSU companies which recruit through gate, they also there are some companies recruit uh, separately. So, to prepare for them you do, you do not require a special attention, but when you prepare for the gate you have prepared for them. So, these are the three opportunities that you have uh, when you prepare for the gate. Now, let us begin uh, how to prepare for gate when you have this many opportunities then how do you compete them. So, because it is a one of the uh, difficult uh, exam in India and uh, this uh, provides a very difficult uh, pattern uh, to prepare, but who are having a very good concepts in undergraduate programs, they can easily crack. But still without having uh, many um, concepts, still you can start your preparation um, from now onwards. Uh, now, um, how to prepare for GATE? So, I have um, listed here 10 important tips uh, which helps you to prepare uh, for GATE. The first important tip is uh, know the GATE pattern. So, what is the GATE pattern? Nothing but it is you have how many questions in GATE. So, total 65 questions in GATE. So, you have to um, attempt in 3 hours to carry 100 marks in which total you have 55 questions are from the technical including mathematics and 10 questions from a general aptitude in which you have the English as well as some numerical computation questions. Now, in which uh, you have two types of uh, questions, one is one mark type and two mark types. In both of them, uh, you have multiple choice questions, there you have the four options and numerical type questions in which you will be having only text box and virtual calculator is provided. So, you have to compute uh, some uh, value using virtual calculator and enter the value in text box. So, there you do not have the options and, and in this MCQs have a negative marking of 1 by 3rd if it is 1 mark and you have 1 by 3rd of 1 mark if it is 2 mark 2 by 3rd uh, for that questions. Now, there is no negative marking for wrong answers in numerical type questions that is a one advantage in gate exam. Also, it is difficult to answer the numerical type questions because you should have a correct answer to uh, get the marks. Now, the advantage is here you no need to carry the physical calculator. Uh, in gate you have the virtual calculator to um, calculate the values, but you should practice uh, before uh, going to the gate exam how to use the virtual calculator. Otherwise, you will have the difficulty to use the calculator. So, this is about the pattern of the gate where each candidate should know before starting your preparation so that your preparation should match with the pattern of the gate. The second one is a know the gate syllabus. 
because the gate has around 10 to 12 subjects in which more than 150 even some of the branches they have more than 200 topics which requires uh, hard work as well as you need a time dedication to complete the whole syllabus but while preparing each subject you must know how to stick to the syllabus so do not uh, uh, deviate your mind to other topics because the gate exam you have 10 to 12 subjects you have to complete whole syllabus within your before the gate exam and come to the third tip now you have uh, so many subjects then what are the resources are useful to prepare the gate exam so before starting your preparation after knowing your syllabus you must uh, gather the resources so that you should not have the confusion while starting uh, your preparation then I suggest you if you are uh, joined in some coaching center then definitely your notebook is the first priority then second one depend on the books but if you are doing self preparation the first one keep books the second one keep the some coaching notes to stick to your syllabus so these are the two important uh, things that books and notes together will help you uh, to prepare the gate syllabus uh, quickly then some of the topics you may not understand from the books or notes because a lack of presentation then you may go for online lectures uh, maybe uh, you can go for foreign lectures or NPTEL videos or uh, there are so many videos and lectures are available uh, on the website so you can search for them topic wise and after this you must uh, stick to one of the test series or you can join more than one test series uh, which are available in India where um, you will have uh, practice for many subjects as well as a mock test so this will help you um, while preparing each subject you start practicing uh, the subject wise test through online interface so this will make you comfortable when you go for actual exam now finally the very good platform that is grade up which will help you to discuss all your doubts uh, wherever you are that's a very good advantage in grade up you can ask your queries you can share um, uh, some of the resources that you have and you can get the resources from other aspirants that is a very good idea implementation on grade up so you can utilize the grade up application uh, to ask your doubts and get queries uh, solved easily through the experts and other aspirants in India now come to the fourth point once you have the resources uh, before just starting your topic preparation you must have analysis of the uh, weightage of topics in gate so in each subject uh, there is a weightage of topics and for each subject there is average marks allotted so understand the uh, weightage uh, which are published on um, grade up you can look at the articles uh, to understand the weightage analysis of for each subject as well as whole gate exam so which will help you to start the preparation easily and where to focus and which topic is important this definitely help you in the analysis and preparation now fifth topic now this weightage analysis will help you to order the subjects when you prioritize uh, the subjects you can start easily the which subject is more important which subject is less important so balance overall so when you go to the gate exam before the gate exam you must have completed all subjects preparation and mainly the important subjects which are, are coming with more weightage you must prepare and you must practice more so this is very important when you prioritize the subjects and give a proper time in the schedule now sixth point so now you have the knowledge of weightage and important subjects and important topics now start your study plan how many days how many weeks how many months that you should allot uh, your time to prepare uh, for each subject or topic and that makes you uh, you know uh, advanced plan before starting your preparation and you can stick to that plan even you uh, plan may not execute properly but 80 percent of the plan you succeed then 20 percent you can adjust suppose you plan for four months then it may extend to five months but don't worry but finally your target is to finish your syllabus right so this study plan is a very important if you want to crack very good rank so this study plan will help you to complete whole syllabus this study plan will give you uh, all concepts to recall in short period of time 
So we will see how to schedule the study plan and you can also visit grade up we, we have launched a study plan how to prepare um, for it. Now seventh important tip is how to prepare each topic. Now you have the study plan, now you started preparing a topic, then how should I start this topic? Then look at each topic is the similar preparation you should have a kind of practicing so that at the end you have very comfortable feeling to recall the concepts of the topic. The first thing is understand the theory and concepts fundamentals are very clearly. So you do not have any problem while practicing examples and practicing questions from the topic. If you do not have the theory or concepts then you may struggle to solve the questions. So anyhow the theory and practicing examples together will make you to understand the topic easily. Now once you understand a topic definitely you should practice the previous year gate questions. This will help you what is the difficulty of a questions asked from the topic. So once you have the idea then you must see analyze whether this topic you have prepared according to the gate pattern. If not please uh, prepare right now so that you will not face any difficulty in the future. Now once you complete uh, the previous year gate questions now your job is uh, to practice new questions because you know gate always they are trying to give new questions so that you must have the habit of solving them. So when you practice new questions your concepts will be recalled and your theory concepts will be uh, you can remember for a long time. So this is the best thing that you can practice new questions. The finally you have to uh, make a short notes uh, to revise in the future because suppose you have finished the topic today and now you want to prepare or recall the same topic after one month. It is a very difficult to uh, study all pages that you have studied in the last 10 to 15 days then the short notes will help you to recall all the concepts in hours maybe 1 to 2 hours or 3 hours you can you can prepare all concepts and you can recall them. So do not forget to make a short notes for each topic at least half of the page or one page uh, keep a short as uh, much as possible so that it will help you to prepare at the end. Now once you have uh, kind of this preparation uh, definitely at the end you will have uh, short notes and you will have practicing you have understand all the gate questions. Now the eighth point after every week or one month so please a target for the revision because without revising the concepts using your short notes uh, you, you may forget the concepts uh, at the end. So it is better to recall after every week or maybe you know couple of days or maybe every month try to recall the concepts that you have studied in the past and whatever the subject you have finished so far try to recall all of them by giving a proper uh, schedule. So this uh, makes you to recall all the concepts regularly and this also helps you to remember all the concepts and whenever there is a question that you face definitely you can solve in faster way. So that quick way to solve is very important for that this revision definitely will help you. Now in this process when you practice the questions every week or every one month then look at the weak topics that you have uh, right now and improve them because next time when you face the same topic question you should not have any kind of weakness so that you have to make a habit of while practicing the questions. Now assume that you have prepared all the subjects then how should I recall all the concepts that you have already short notes but this is not enough uh, to recall all the concepts you must have kind of practicing so that these concepts will help you to analyze any problem. So now you practice a mock test uh, by subject by subject or you know mock test completely uh, which covers all the subjects. Now before attempting any mock test try to recall or try to revise your short notes at least half an hour to one hour minimum so that when you face the mock test after that preparation then you can recall the concepts faster. If you have it for each mock test definitely you will uh, succeed in your gate exam. So remember do not forget to revise the concepts during or uh, before the mock test. Now what is important at the end because you have done your preparation and you have uh, practiced so many mock tests but still there is one thing that you have to remember 
look at your important topics that are asked always in gate so far and that may be asked again. So, do not uh, have any kind of weakness in such topics so that try to prepare and try to recall, revise in all important topics in first priority at the end. So, before attempting gate exam, uh, definitely in last one week especially, look at all important topics that were asked in every year and recall them properly to ace your gate exam. So, I feel the hard work when you have definitely you can succeed without having any doubt, but keep your dream in achieving your gate exam and that should be with your dedication. So, whoever having a dedication, hard work and keep in dream that you will definitely succeed. So, this is the funda of every gate ranker, why do they success? Then I hope this video is uh, very clear to you how to prepare for gate exam and leave your doubts because there are some very good platforms like a grade up and a practice you can practice the questions uh, which were asked in previous gate and you can ask your new doubts which comes every day preparation on grade up. There are experts and so many aspirants they come here and discuss and that will help you to uh, prepare easily. So, I hope this video very useful for your preparation and thank you so much.